Welcome to the Bishop Hartley High School Power School Scheduling Registration Instructional Video. I am Liz Coletti, one of the Bishop Hartley School Counselors, and I will be walking you through completing the course selection process with your student. In order to be able to access the scheduling system in Power School, you needed to have already completed the enrollment process and received login information to create your Power School Parent Portal. The Parent Portal is where you will complete yearly school enrollment forms, access report cards, and view and pay fees. It is also where you'll be able to work with your child to schedule course requests for freshman year. To start, please navigate to Bishop Hartley's Power School Parent Portal website. You can see the website here. Please bookmark this page as you will access it frequently in the future. You will want to log in using the username and password you created when activating your account in the Parent Sign-In section. I'm going to be using a test parent account today, so I'll put that information in now. After logging in, you'll be directed to this home screen. You may see two tabs at the top. The Joe tab is for an older student, and then the student tab is for my incoming freshman. If this is your only child of Bishop Hartley, you will only have a tab for him or her. On the left, you will see different options to view information. As of right now, if you click through each of them, you might see information listed there, but you will learn more about each of these tabs in the future. When you are ready to schedule course requests with your student, please have your course selection packet with you. The documents included will help you complete this step. Click on class registration on the left and you will be directed to the screen to use. Here you will see different categories that need to be completed. Please keep in mind that we are filling courses in to ensure your child has a complete schedule for the fall. Bishop Hartley has a seven period school day. At the top of this screen is a link to our course catalog that is on the bishophartley.org website. Please note that the course catalog is broken down by subject. As you navigate back to the class registration screen, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see a section that says additional requests. If you look at the courses listed here, these courses cannot be changed and are the courses that your child has placed into automatically. This will match the orange course selection sheet with your child's name on it from the packet. Scrolling back up to the top, you will see the different areas you will need to complete to finish the course registration process. First is listed world language and we will click on the pencil next to the green check mark. This is where you will select what language your child would like to take as long as there is room in his or her schedule. Additionally, you will see the note at the top that if your child has experience with a language due to speaking it at home or courses taken in school, you can select advanced language testing request. You should also make sure to register for a test by following the instructions on the purple sheet in your packet. You will select a course by checking the box to the left or selecting the course itself and then hitting the blue OK button. Now you will see that the course requested is listed in that section. Where language is not required for all students to select if you or your child feel like they are not ready to take a language during freshman year and want to wait to start a language during sophomore year or if there does not appear to be room for the world language due to the courses recommended to be taken on the orange course selection sheet. As we move on to the next section, physical education, you will notice to the right that there is a green check mark next to the pencil. This is a section that can be skipped if you are planning to have your child take summer PE this summer and do not want them to have a PE course scheduled for freshman year. You will still be able to move on even with no courses listed in this section. If your child will not be taking summer PE and you would like them to get part or all of the half credit needed for graduation scheduled during their freshman year, then you will select the pencil and choose either physical education and or lifetime fitness PE. In choosing both, you are requesting that the, your student take a full year of PE credits in order to receive their half credit that is needed for graduation. Once you have the course or courses selected, then hit the blue OK button. You will see now the courses that you selected on the main screen. 
Next is the Priority Visual Performing Arts course selection section. All incoming freshmen are required to schedule at least one Visual or Performing Arts course, VPA, during their freshman year. Most VPA courses are a semester long, so they are worth half credit, and one credit of VPA is required for graduation. In this section, your child is selecting the course they would like to have as their priority for VPA. There is no guarantee that this course will be scheduled due to how other courses are offered, especially our core courses like religion, English, math, and science, but this is looked at first to see if it will fit. You will notice to the right that there is a red exclamation mark, which indicates that this section cannot be skipped and must have a course selected in order to move on. In this example, with my sample child, I have reviewed the freshman course catalog and know what course my child wants to take. We have decided on digital design, so I will scroll down and click on that, and then scroll down further to hit the blue button. Please note that there are two pages. If you scroll to the bottom, you will see one and two to see all options for visual performing art. Once I hit OK, I can now see digital design in that section and when have a greed check mark. Then I go to the alternate visual performing arts course selection and see that it also has a red exclamation mark. So I will have to open it up and choose two more VPA courses. Please make sure that your child understands there is a possibility that one or both of these courses might be included in his or her schedule. You should also not be choosing the same course that you chose in the Priority Visual Performing Arts course selection section. And again, there are two pages, so make sure to scroll to both, choose two, and you will see a green check mark at the bottom saying you have selected two courses. Hit the blue OK button, and again, we will see that the red exclamation mark has now turned to a green check mark, so I can move on. The last section I need to complete is the elective section. As we see, there is a red exclamation point to the right by the pencil, so I know that I cannot skip this section. My child has looked at the elective options in the freshman course catalog and decided on the two courses he or she would like to take. I saw that on the freshman course catalog, Engineer Your World had a prerequisite listed which my child does not meet, so I will not pick that course. We have decided on a first semester study hall since my child's extracurriculars take more time in the fall and I would like my child to have time to help with the transition to high school as well as taking public speaking. I will click on the last pencil and look at the elective courses available, selecting the two, study hall for semester one and public speaking before hitting the blue OK button. These courses will be used in addition to the VPA courses selected to make sure my child has a full schedule in the fall. Now there is a green check mark in the electives box. Back on the course registration page, I can see that each section has a green check mark, so I can now hit the blue submit button at the bottom. The screen will change and show me a list of everything that I have selected and the courses that were pre-selected for me. You can print this screen or save a picture of it to keep it as this will be the only record of the courses that were chosen and you may lose access to seeing it once the system starts to make schedules for all students. Please know that this is not your child's schedule. This order is not the same order of classes and there is no guarantee that the electives or VPA choices listed here will all be scheduled. Students will receive their finalized schedules in August. If you made an error, you can select the course registration tab on the left again and it will allow you to make changes as long as the system has not started to work on scheduling all students. Please make sure you hit submit at the bottom of the page to update any changes. At this point, you have now completed the course request process. If you have any questions about course placement or how courses work into a four-year plan, please contact your child's school counselor. If you have any questions about the PowerSchool Parent Portal, please contact our Student Information System Manager, Kim Donnelly. Contact information is available in the course selection packet for both school counselors and Kim Donnelly.
Again, congratulations on completing the course registration selection process, and we look forward to working with you and your child in the near future. Go Hawks!